And now to a developing story, the Santa Fe High School shooting civil trial. Five witnesses took the stand today, all told of the horror that happened in May of 2018 and explained to jurors the toll these murders continue to have on their lives. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold has been watching every day of testimony and he's joining us now live from the Galveston County Courthouse with an update. Robert? Trenton Beasley finished his testimony today. He was a student at Santa Fe High School during the mass shooting and he helped several of his classmates escape. Beasley told jurors he could hear the shooter taunting everyone by singing another one bites the dust as he kept shooting. After Beasley concluded his testimony, the mothers of Christian Riley Garcia and Kimberly Vaughn took the stand. Shannon Clawson told jurors her son Christian wanted to be an army ranger and he was killed while helping his classmates and substitute teacher Cynthia Tisdale. Rhonda Hart then told jurors her daughter Kimberly was an avid reader and accomplished and dedicated Girl Scout who was shot multiple times. Riley ushered the kids that were next to him into the storage closet and he wasn't the last one in there. But one of the boys that survived let us know that he told them, you go, I got the door, y'all get out. And would tell them when they was safe he thought it was safe for them to get out and push them out before he, he died when they were all going to leave and he had gotten everyone out of there that could go. He stopped and was physically picking up Miss Tisdale and Jared off the floor when he was shot in the back. Her gunshot wounds started in her left shoulder and continued all the way down the left side of her spine down to about her belt line. And she was shot by two different guns, um, totaling seven shots. The Galveston County Precinct 2 constable at the time, Jimmy Fullen, also testified. He told jurors he was off that day, but raced to the school as soon as he heard the call. He helped drag Santa Fe ISD police officer John Barnes to safety. Barnes was the first to confront the gunman and was critically wounded. The last witness to take the stand today was William Reese Tisdale. His mother, Cynthia Tisdale, was a substitute teacher at Santa Fe High School who was killed that day. Tisdale is a retired League City police officer, and he talked about racing to the scene as well. He even though it was also his day off. All witnesses testified about the immense pain and suffering these murders have done to them and they continue to impact these murders have on their lives in the forms of in the form of PTSD, stress related illness, lack of sleep and depression. Those who lost children that day, those who survived are suing the parents of the gunman claiming they should have done more to get their son help for his mental illness and to make sure he didn't get his hands on the guns in their house. Trial resumes tomorrow. Reporting live from the Galveston County Courthouse, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.